Morning Mumbai with Richie K. The lovely Ada Sharma is here. So wonderful to see you. How are you doing, Ada? Good, Rishi. How are you? Excellent. I like the look of the holiday. I haven't gone through uh, uh, the series as yet, but it's got all the right things uh, in terms of the look. I mean, it's so representative <laughs> of the fact that you guys are on holiday and in beautiful Mauritius. Yes, and we're having fun. <laughs> I think it's a it's it's a show that's um, well for people who want to watch when they want to relax and unwind and. Uh, probably at the end of the day after work or if you're just chilling with your friends it's something that you can just sit and be like let's just watch some people having fun and it's it's i think it's a nice fun entertaining show but uh, we also have uh, along with the fun we also have our story intact and everything so i think people really enjoy watching what stands out for me is that normally Uh, if if a girl were to have a bachelorette, she'd right. do it with her female friends. Right. And if a guy were to have a bachelor party or whatever, yes. a vacation, it'd be it'll be you know quote unquote stag. Yes. But the fact that she's going on a bachelorette with three guys. Yes. And these are these are close friends of hers. Yeah. These are childhood friends of hers. So we say they've been friends since they were in the third standard. So they're not like my boyfriends, as in they're not like. boyfriends boyfriends for me it's like the gender isn't even that important i mean you have films like say dil chahta hai or uh, zindagi milegi na dobara where there are guys going together or you have veere di wedding where there are girls but i think after the holiday uh, it will be i mean we're, we're just trying to do away with the gender i mean you're just friends since you were in the third standard is what we're saying so uh, so yeah there's nothing to do with them being boys or girls now when you're friends with someone you're just friends yeah totally i can really uh, agree with you yes you know and and all this this crap about you know platonic relationships don't exist i don't buy that you know some of my yeah. my closest friends are lady friends and you know I, I, you can actually go through those relationships without any kind of physical or any other kind of attraction but you just feel I the agree. comfort the security yeah. of that friendship yeah, yeah. i uh, so when i when i was cast for the show i was telling them i actually have friends from the fourth standard my closest friends now are my friends from the fourth standard They happen to be girls and boys uh, from school so i have my girlfriends who have known from uh, first standard and uh, my guy friends who have known since fourth standard marathi tuitions so that's oh, where we cool. met because i was in an all girls school so uh, so yeah they they've been my friends they're still my friends right now and those are very platonic relationships they're not romantic at all mm. so i would like to believe that you can have those that exist lovely and th- this happens in mauritius and yes. you actually went and lived there for all those days did you yes <laughs> and i've never been to mauritius and i've always wanted to go i mean the farthest i've gone is the maldives huh. so what's beautiful about mauritius this is for i haven't been to the maldives though i've mm. seen pictures which look like postcards but uh, mauritius is very beautiful uh, for me mostly being over there the the whole fun of it was the company these guys were amazing they're half mad uh, i'm half mad we are all our different brands of madness so to put four of us together uh, on the show uh, with the director laksh and i know everything was so crazy and so more than the place uh, since we were shooting like some 18 hours a day or not 18 but with the travel it would become uh, that so more than the place for me it was the people uh, but of course the place is very beautiful you can see the beaches the underwater thing and Uh, yeah it was a lot of fun mauritius though has very unpredictable climate so it's extremely sunny then it's in the next two minutes it starts raining heavily then it gets cold and there's a mad breeze and mad wind wow. and then it's sunny again so uh, so you could see like four seasons uh, in a day you know that kind of thing in a day rishi in like 10 minutes so in 10 minutes you have like everything so you don't know what's going on it's it's quite crazy but through all of that i think we shot some good stuff and and do they speak french there i mean is that the lingua they franca locally yeah they do speak french they do speak tamil also over there I and and, and tamil is your mother tongue no is it tamil no tamil is my mother tongue yeah Yeah, I was just telling somebody outside. Uh, uh, <laughs> only a South Indian can feel the pride of talking to an, about another South Indian. I said, "Hang on, there. She's a Sharma, but she's a South Indian Sharma." I am, yes. <laughs> so then somebody turned around and said, "Just because you are a Madrasi, everybody else is a Madrasi." I said, "No, she is. I know." I am. I am. I didn't know you are as <laughs> so, well. So yeah, oh, big one for us, Tan Brahm. Yes, man. we yeah. are also Tan Brahm. Me <laughs> totally. too. Totally. Okay. So the full name is Rishikesh Kannan. And oh. it's just Rishi K sounded cooler to somebody, so I said I'll go with it. If you want me to call you, I don't even that. know that. See, I would never have known. Most people don't know. Also, I would never know. <laughs> yeah. I can't tell with the accent either. But then I guess we Tamrams are very adaptive, no? That's us. So can, yeah. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, I I know that from the trailer that hmm. she's going to be a Mathur. Yeah, she's yeah. Mehak what? She's Mehak Singh now. Okay. She's soon going to be Mehak Singh Mathur. Mm. So. And and. you know th- these guys 
like you said, there's a certain level of comfort, right. you know, but uh, right. that, that she feels with them. Yeah. Most girls that I know who are like that mm. are, are really comfortable in their own skin. So, yeah. uh, am I reading Mehak right? What kind of a person is she? So she is very comfortable in her skin. Uh, also, when we were playing the character, even if you notice, even if I'm wearing like uh, swimwear and everything, we didn't want me to be overtly sexy uh, or sensual, you know, because if you're a girl who hangs around with three guys, you'll be one of the boys. Sometimes, you'll be one yeah. of the boys. There's it has nothing to do with looking hot or looking good. You can look good and continue to do that, but you can't be overtly. I don't know. I don't know if there's a word for it or something. I, I guess, you know, you you understand. Sexy. Overtly sexy. Overtly yeah. sexy. Uh, that can't be. But she can be uh, like fun and good looking. I think the the main thing to be able to hang around with guys is uh, you have to be a little less high maintenance. That's, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you have to roll with it, right? Because I've noticed even if I'm hanging out with my guy friends, there's sometimes you have to just be like okay with some stuff not yeah. going uh, according to exact plan. And right, I'm yeah. anyway like that. And my close friends are boys, so I know how guys are. Like nothing ever goes exactly as planned. Whenever yeah, I if there's a cricket around. game and they're getting together, you just go with that. You know, you. But just... I anyway would in real life. I'm yeah. sort of a pushover also a little bit. <laughs> a little bit anyway. Um, so like I'm never the one in real life also to like make a plan. I'm never the one to. I'm usually the one who will be like, yeah, okay, then fine. We. What is your yeah. zodiac sign? I'm a Taurian. Oh, you're a Taurian. Yeah. Fabulous sign to be. Uh, really? Why? I don't know anything about. <laughs> 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 Educate me. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Everything's good. <laughs> oh, everything's good. Yeah, but I stubborn. Think. But stubborn. Oh, extremely extreme stubborn. stubborn. Like if I've decided something, then I've just like, that's it. For good and bad, it can work both ways. Mm. But uh, yeah, very stubborn. But I guess um. Now yeah. you know the fact that you're you're on on an they call it an OTT platform. Now there are various types of OTT yeah. platforms. I mean, one is you know the Netflixes and the Amazons of the world, and then mm -hmm. there's this which is Zoom Studios, which is actually right. free to air on YouTube because right. YouTube is a free channel. Right. And uh, for somebody like yourself who's mm. done so much work down south, mm. and you've been part of you know a couple of huge hit films with Vikram Bhatt, mm. uh, you know how did you go about choosing which OTT platform to be on? Or did you just say, I don't care which one it goes on, it's hmm. just a good project? So for me, honestly, uh, the platform didn't really matter uh, for this. Uh, so I just shot for Commando 2. Uh, mm. command, I'm sorry, Commando 3. three. Yeah, three I so. met you during 2. Yes, you met me. Uh, now you'd meet me the, again during... At the during... T-Series office in the yes. basement. With, with, with yeah. The, yeah, so you'd meet us again now during 3. Mm -hmm. uh, so we finished shooting for that and I had been getting a lot of uh, offers on OTT platforms. But I felt that if I start off with something, I should start off with something where the girl's role is solid and it's about the girl. Like I wanted my role to be pivotal to something I start off with because I said I want to be, you know, the crux of the story if I'm doing an OTT mm. platform thing. So I had done this short film called Mo, which is on Z5. And it's an emotional story of this girl who loses her parents. And uh, again, different from stuff that I've done before. And after it, it aired, I got so much feedback from it. And it was crazy. I said, I, I didn't know so many people watch yeah. uh, OTT platforms that much. Sometimes more than people who've watched my movies had seen uh, the short film. Then they dubbed that into four languages because I've done Telugu and Tamil mm. films before. And Canada, so they dubbed it in four languages now, and it's on the app, and so many people are watching it there. So I thought, you know, this is a great thing to do uh, because we make work for people to watch, and as actors, you want people to watch your work. That's all you want, right? Correct. So uh, whether it's on an OTT platform or whether it goes to a theater and then goes nowadays, yeah, even like yeah, in a month's yeah. time, it's on some, it's on an Amazon, Netflix, YouTube, it's on something. Even if you do a movie, it's pirated and gone in the next two days. So. Uh, and you're right, you know, and there will always be place for the big blockbuster because yeah. you know Commando is a serious mainstream blockbuster right. with an action hero and you and things like right, that. Right. Uh, there will always be those films which will, you know, instinctively, hey man, this is a theater kind of film. You right, know? right. And, and, and a series like, like this, uh, yeah. Yeah, like Commando, I think I'm very lucky to be part of an action franchise where they've repeated the girl. Uh, I'm very happy yeah. to be doing action uh, in this part. Like, there's and you weren't in the first one. I was I think in the Pooja first one. was in the first one. Yeah. And then you, you were in two I was in two, mm. and because thanks to the audience who liked me in two, they've retained me and kept the same character as I was in two. The Bhavna mm. Reddy with the accent and everything. So uh, I'm quite excited about that. But I, I think being like, uh, once the holiday trailer was out, so many people have watched it. I'm, Millions, I'm like, zillions yeah, of views. it's so cool. So I think uh, if it's a great role, I'm up for anything, any language, everything. <laughs> So I know amongst the three boys, the only guy I've met is is Priyank, hmm. 
because he had done a video with Asta Gill and he rolled into studio and we did uh, ah, and the first oh. thing I turned around to him and I Sad said idea. and I didn't uh-huh. I didn't say, mean it in a derogatory manner man mm-hmm. I just said you're so Delhi <laughs> 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 and like I said I mean it's not a bad uh-huh. thing but it's yeah. just one of those culture yes, things you yes, know if, if yes. you've grown up in Bombay you'd know that yes you know that it's you know this is a very Delhi kind of yes. he is isn't he is a <laughs> Delhi da banda <laughs> and he's made me also a Delhi da bandi Delhi di bandi <laughs> hanging out with him but uh, like I said you know if you put four people together we are such different people to be put together but I can't think of doing this with any three other guys I think I'm so lucky to have these three boys I've learned so much from them as people as uh, actors as everything and I, I just feel very lucky to be uh, with them now we've been together too many hours too long <laughs> <laughs> uncomfortable amounts of time I know too much about them I can almost read their mind like now if I look wow. at Priyanka in interviews I'm like oh my god I know what he's going to answer to this or if I look at Hashim I know he's going to say something you know so and, and sorry Priyanka if you're other. listening to this uh, <laughs> you were not invited for this particular interview because I kind of like uh, Aga Sharma I and I wanted her <laughs> I wanted her to to get on solo on my show and do this interview so maybe there'll be another time <laughs> oh no Priyanka is going to kill me Veer and Hashim will be like at school Priyanka is going to be like why I want to know why Bye. <laughs> so I, I don't know much about the other two boys, about uh, the other two guys. So just just fill me in. On so uh, there's Ashim, mm-hmm. who uh, I think in real life, I wish he gets to do stuff that he is like he is in real life. He is like mad fun. Uh, Veer is the other guy. Veer has done a lot of web before. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's extremely talented and uh, he's also really funny. I think the three of them are very funny with their different brands of comedy huh? like Priyank sometimes says something and we we can't control laughing because he's unintentionally funny sometimes uh, this Ashim is like quirky funny and we can do like I don't know actually Ashim can also mimic and Veer can they mimic people and they're, they're very amazing I'm quite lucky to be stuck with you were just entertained <laughs> I was highly entertained by them I was highly and I think I entertained them also enough I'm sure you did yeah, so, so as opposed to your friends turning around and saying oh wow you're in Mauritius with three hot guys you must have been like they were just entertaining guys <laughs> yeah but my the friends my friend extra. saw and my friend first called me and she was like who is she's also like all my friends are my childhood friends yeah. so she was like who is this fiance who's let you go on a bachelorette with three guys who look like this who is this fiance yeah that's a logical question yeah, yeah she's like who I said why he trusted me now and their childhood friends she's like who is he so I said uh, he's the, the Siddharth guy so she's like who, who is this guy so I said that is Laksh now our director Laksh is playing my fiance ah okay <laughs> so yeah. she was like ah that's why because he's there through it so it was quite creepy no because he's filming the whole thing right if you think about it. Yeah, he is. Correct. Yeah. He's really not. Otherwise, yeah, which you. fiance would. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, I think, uh, I would trust, I think, no? If mm. you really trust someone and you don't. Um, yeah, you don't. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Lux, do you know Lux from before? I mean, no, no, I met him just before. I met all these guys, like, on the show. Mm. It feels like I've known them for very long now. Because, like I said, we've spent uncomfortable amounts of time together. Uh, yeah, I mean, what do you do in, in an alien country when you pack up? You know, no, you Mauritius just... shuts at four. Everything shuts at four. Wow. And the thing is, we were like a school picnic, like four annoying children. <laughs> they should lock us in one car and send us together. Because if, say, like Veer and me are in one car, and Ashim and uh, Priyanka are in another car, our car would reach first. Then where are they? They don't know. <laughs> Their phone switched off. Uh, Veer sits in the car. Then they're like, okay, okay, where's Ashim? Ashim's gone to the gym. Where's Priyanka? He's gone. Ada's gone to buy something. In the su- then Ada sits. Okay, now where's Priyank? Priyank's gone. Some, so it was so horrible for them to put. So they should lock us four in a car and send us to location. Like four of us <laughs> together. And then get us back together. Because then three of them have come back. Where's the fourth guy? Where's he? So it was so bad to like have all of us behave. So uh, yeah, so we used to travel together going and coming. Then after we got back, we used to go to the gym together. And then we used to shoot together. Then we used to do readings together. I think we just slept separately for <laughs> a few hours. <laughs> and then we were back together. So, uh, yeah, too much time I've spent with them. Like, a little too much. So. And there's also the leggy Natasha Stankovic. Yes. Who's, I think, Serbian. But she speaks Hindi, man. She speaks very yeah. good Hindi. Yeah, she does. She speaks. Uh, there's also Sara and Julie. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's also in the trailer, if you notice. She's playing... Uh, uh, when Priyanka is dancing, ah, she's yeah, playing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Correct, 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 correct. So th- these are all people you meet in Mauritius. That's in in the course of the story. Yeah. Is that the way so it basically, works? in each episode, uh, something crazy happens. So in each episode, we meet someone. I can't tell you in each episode like what, sure, but yeah. each thing. Uh, there's something that happens. There's something that happens. So if you notice, even in the trailer, there's like one mad thing happening after the other. Then we're in that Bhutbangla type place yeah. and. Uh, 
So, Which yeah. you are no stranger to. Bhutbangla. I am no stranger <laughs> to. I've been in Bhutbangla since like there's been a hundred years now since 1920. We're in 2020 almost. So <laughs> it's been a hundred years. I've had a lot of experience with Bhutbangla. Bhutbangla. <laughs> <laughs> so these these guys and and this whole first season, hmm. I presume there are going to be more seasons. But I'm just saying this yeah, whole first planned. first season runs for how many episodes? Ten episodes. Ten episodes. It's already streaming right now on uh, Zoom Studio. So you could just YouTube Zoom Studios and uh, get a load and binge watch. Yeah, and they're all I imagine twenty minute episodes. They're all twenty it? minutes, but mm -hmm. uh, every episode will be out every week. Ah, so, so not all of them. You can't out. binge. You'd have to like Correct. wait. So this wait. is gonna be like a piece of delicious chocolate cake every week, and then you have to wait for a week to get That's the next. That's interesting. I I always want to ask so, the web guys. I mean, what's your yeah. reasoning for putting some shows out all together and yeah. some shows going week out week after week? Do you ever ask these questions? You should actually. So you know? I I actually don't know which is better. Um, I, I, don't don't I don't know which works. I don't know which works yeah. because it could be two ways. You could sure. really like the people and wait for the next week, or you could hate us in episode one and not give us a chance yeah. after. But uh, hopefully, I'm hoping people like us and uh, like our vibe. The holiday is a show that you know, like I said, it's light, it's fun, it's uh, it's got love, friendship, comedy, uh, light stuff. So if you like us, you'll really like us. If you yeah. don't, then uh, <laughs> you'd hate and, us. And there is a lot of swimwear for Adha Sharma fans. They can just you know uh, watch that. Not not really. <laughs> the, the the trailer is supposed <laughs> the, the to deceive. The poster, <laughs> the poster might be a little deceptive. Uh, there is swimwear. No, no, there is. We are in Mauritius. It's on the beach. But like right. I said, uh, I am with uh, three boys, so I can't be an extremely provocative uh, uh, stuff. So, but I think people will have fun with it still. They won't be thinking about the way. And uh, <coughs> uh, as far as mainstream cinema is concerned, mm -hmm. uh, what are you working on? There's one, there's Commando Three, which is up. There's ahead. Commando Three, which is uh, September sixth. I get the feeling release, that Vidyut's so. changed a bit. Because he came here with Chuck, this this director uh, friend of his, and they'd done this wonderful film with animals and things like yes, that. Yes, jungle. Yeah. <coughs> with your Jambal style, he'll be like Rishi K. I'm changing every day, every moment. Maybe. This is what he must have told you. If you so, said you've you changed. know, I, I found him a lot more like with Thera and you know a little spiritual and things like that. <laughs> Some thunder happening. Wait, now I'll get him back for command. If he's hanging around with me, he'll go crazy again. <laughs> But no, he's a uh, he's such a he. I I hope he also gets to do a comedy someday. Uh, I think he's a funny he, guy. He is life. hilarious in real life. I I just hope people get to see that side of him. Wow, he's so funny. Like you'll be in splits if you hang out with him off camera. Like he's really funny. I but Commando again is the serious. Uh, he's supposed to be the serious guy. So. I don't know, but he's extremely funny. He's really funny in real life. So. And, and is Vikram Bhat calling you back for one of his uh, spooky ones? I would love to do a spooky movie, but I feel it should take me beyond 1920 to do it. Otherwise, I shouldn't attempt. Uh, <coughs> people have their expectations raised. 1920 comes on TV like mm. twice a month, yeah. and people, you know, have that. Now, if I don't get scarier, it's no fun. <laughs> but I have other stuff. I have this other film called Man to Man. Uh, which I finished shooting for, so it's it's a love story. It's like a quintessential love story about this boy who falls in love with a girl, and then after marriage he gets to know that she's a guy, she's a man. Wow! And I'm the man. <laughs> so. Uh, and who's opposite you? Uh, a Naveen ka story is opposite. Okay. So. Okay. And the, when uh, the, when is that release? I don't know yet, but uh, yeah, so as an actor, you never know. A, you just do the work, and you yeah. Do but it's a film I'm really really excited about because it's something that no one's done before. It's something that I haven't done before. Uh, And uh, yeah, I think it's a really, really, it's a very funny story that also. Uh, well, we have a message also that we put across. I'm very happy to be standing up for the LGBTQIA community lovely, also. Lovely. And uh, after, like, when the movie was announced, I got so many messages from people saying we're so happy that you are representing us. Uh, and I was really touched. I thought it was it was nice. I feel very happy to uh, be representing that community. Uh, also, it'll be done in a very entertaining way. So I think. Uh, People, any person from of any gender uh, who's felt left out or excluded in school, or uh, I don't know, generally with people, if you're different from people or you're not like everybody else, and people have been mean to you at some point yeah. in your life, you'll really, really uh, identify with it. And again, it's said in a very funny way because it's about people who don't accept people who are not like them. Mm. So. And amongst all the work that you've done down south, uh, have you have you made friends? I mean, people you've enjoyed working with. Any of our leading men, you would say, were great buddies, and you know, because the experience is is a lot different. The people are a lot it different, is, isn't it? It is. 
Uh, I won't lie and say great buddies because uh, firstly it's very difficult to in South like I was doing four films a year there while uh, I was doing then Commando here. So to be great buddies with someone, my definition is someone who you talk to every day or not even every. It's someone who you say tell everything to. I may not be such an open person. I have my set of friends who I've known, and in that I'm a little stuck up. Probably <laughs> I have those friends since I was in school, like I said. So like now when I leave here, I'll call her up and say this. I'll call my other <laughs> friend and tell him that, and I'll say you know. So that might not happen with uh, too many new people, though. Uh, like now, Vidyut's a friend. He's a friend that I've done a movie with and everything. Uh, these guys i'm sure are going to be friends uh, with me yeah, even after the show been through, yeah. yeah so even after 20 days you feel a little closer and south no one's like a buddy but i've quite enjoyed working there the experiences have been different uh, some a little difficult some uh, not but i learned one thing is even in a situation that probably is not very fun and maybe a little miserable to be happy in that space You've so been through I, positive, huh? Wow. Uh, no, miserable as in something's not going your yeah, way. Sure. You don't like what you're wearing, or it's something as small as that. Like sometimes mm. I'd be like, "Oh my god, I do hate what I'm wearing," and then sulk. But then I've decided to not maybe enjoy it and you know just have fun with it and live in the moment. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think so. I love what you've done with your hair. Thank you. So That's for you the do- holiday. Oh, it is for the holiday. It's, for it's the not holiday. as though like you 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 change it around just. No, I'm stuck with it. it for a bit. It looks nice, no. <laughs> so I'm like, cool. <laughs> I keep it because uh, I don't have Commando continuity for a bit. So, uh, so uh, you haven't finished Commando? I finished right? Commando. We're shooting a promotional song, so uh, I don't know if we have to do the exact look of the film. So I should be fine. And dancing is easy because you are. A Dancer, right? Yeah, I've not got a chance to really dance. What did you do? You did Bharatnatyam. I'm graduating Kathak. I have graduated in Kathak. Nice. So yeah. uh, I've not done school. I mean, after school, I've not done college. So yeah. I graduated in dance. Yeah. Yeah. So I you went to what Nalanda center. School of Music or something? Where did you no, go? No, Gopi Krishna's Institute. Oh wow. So it's affiliated with Bombay University. So. So like Shampa's dad. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. 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 That's amazing. So yeah, not too many opportunities to display your kathak on screen thus I, far. No? Yeah, the only time I've got to really so oh. in Hasi to Phasi I got to do that Shake It Like Shami song. Mm. But again, that was like dance. And now recently I did this film with Prabhu Deva, Charlie Chaplin too. You so did? I did. So this I'm, is a Tamil film. Tamil film. Oh, it's my Tamil debut. So uh, I got I mean, to dance Tamil, with him. But there have been remakes of your Telugu. I mean, yeah, they've yeah. been dubbed of Telugu, like Shannam, which I did, which was Bagi yeah, and Hindi. Yeah. That mm. got dubbed into Tamil. So mm. that I'm not counting. But this was Tamil debut, and I got to dance with Prabhu Deva. So uh, that was fun. Uh, Mr. Elastic. <laughs> Hena and he. So it was on the beach, and he told me he was like. Uh, so his steps were these really strange things that. I mean, they're not. He said, I, "Everyone knows you can dance and do one, two, three, four. Now do comedy with dance." And we're gonna do like he said. Everyone will stop, stand, and just stare, and then you'll do like this weird. It's a really weird step. You should see the song. Like I'm moving my limbs and all like that, and it's really weird. And I want to yeah, marry you, Michael Mama. Jackson's like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all like that. And I do that, and <laughs> I want to marry you, Mama. I sang also in that movie. I made my singing debut. Nice. So that was fun. Yeah. So life is going good, Adarsha. Life is going fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But do you fun. always want to be an actress, or were you doing something else before this whole bug bit you? I was studying. I don't know what I was thinking. I was a very good student. I should have just stuck to like doing like architecture or something. I should have done. Why should you have? I mean, I would have excelled at it. Like ah, I don't know. That way, yeah. I think. Uh, I think anything else that I would have done would have been. I'd like to believe, or maybe I think we're in, just uh, Amram genes. You know, we're just infinitely smarter. Yeah, we're smarter. just we are, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> and and it's like if we take up something, we do that just too. Just do it. Yeah. But I think as an actor, there's not uh, there's no fixed rule to things. No, yeah. like if it's architecture, I'd be like, okay, I'd practice my lines and I'd just sing it and I'd ace at it. Mm. Or if it was. I don't know something else I would have yeah. but in this there's no fixed rule it's just there's no rational uh, quotient yeah absolutely not mm. like I don't know where what why but now I'm there's no choice but to go with the flow I think so well charlie chaplin to the holiday you're going with the flow that's lovely <laughs> okay last few questions before we wrap um, yes. we're doing something called run with radio 1 okay uh, also because I desperately need to do that but <laughs> I'm just saying <laughs> So uh, do you, do you, do you, do you do cardio at all? I mean, do you run and uh, do you like run on the treadmill or do you run outside? Um, what's your what's your running routine? Uh, so I don't run every day, but I do do cardio. My cardio is usually dance. Uh, I try to do a different form of exercise. Like I've picked up silambam now, which is that stick mm. martial art. So there's that. Um, there's uh, yeah, but if I'm like in Mauritius when we were and there was the beach, I'd like to run there. I'd usually like, like for example, outdoor if you're, spaces. If you're, if you're filming outdoors, you're in London and you'd, 
you know, outdoor. the parks. You, you'd love to just, Always you know, outdoor. get a hoodie on and just yes. walk around. Outdoor spaces, yeah. I think. Uh, You're not a treadmill kind of person. Yeah. I am if it's raining now and say I go home and then I know that I have to wake up next day for shoot and I have like some half an hour, then I'll do... I have a treadmill in my house. Oh, nice. So, do you do like short intervals or do you do long distances? What, what would you do if you got onto that treadmill? I usually brisk walk mm -hmm. like on 7, like really brisk. For 20 like, minutes or 25 minutes, yeah? 25, 30 minutes, yeah, on an incline of like mm -hmm. 1, 2, that. And I just like to just like sweat out. Yeah, but I would prefer open spaces. I love walking outdoors, mm -hmm. running outdoors. Yeah. Uh, we're doing a campaign called Heal the World. Okay. Uh, the idea came from a guy called Afroz Shah. I don't know if you know him. He's a UN ambassador. He mm. cleans Varsova Beach every week. Wow. And wow. he was doing it single-handedly. Now he has a team of people and they clean Varsova Beach. And his contention is every time he removes plastic from the sea, mm. the sea just throws back more. Yeah, so um, what, are you, what are you doing to save the planet? What are the small things that happen in the Sharma household, for example, to, to save uh, the environment? In mm. my house, like my mom would kill us if we were sitting mm. here with plastic yeah. bottles. She Great. would be Steel like, uh, yeah, no, we have yeah. uh, matkas at home. Matkas, yeah. So we have, uh, we, we also cook in those South Indian, uh, nice. uh, well, like, those, those pots. So we have, uh, not steel, she has those iron or I don't know what, copper, copper yeah. bottles yeah. she has, yeah. which she's given me glass. Also, we use glass. I break like a bottle very often, but she still insists on only using glass and not plastic. Mm. If it's plastic, we use a reusable one, like where we use that for the next six months. Uh, we don't use any plastic bags. My mom has made like uh, out of either we buy those uh, ready, really thin cotton ones. So mm. she's made stuff out of dupattas and everything, which she gives like maids, vegetable vendors who come to our house. Also, she refuses to take even like small things like dhania uh, in a plastic bag. She'll be like, no, put it in a cloth bag. Wow, so big I shout think, out, Mrs. Uh, Sharma. Lovely. Mm. Yeah, I think we should start at home. That's what yeah. we should do. It's small totally. things like that. But when you start at home, uh, mm. I think, yeah. What's your favorite decade? 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, now? In terms of popular culture, fashion, music, everything. So the social structure, how society so, was? Uh, how society was, I don't know, because I'd have to live in it to really know. Uh, but um, now I'm going to say in terms of fashion, probably the 60s. And I the just did a... Yeah, I just did a Telugu film which released Kalki. Now, last week, we released Which is one of those back. period films. Which yeah. is a period yeah. film, yeah. Oh, so nice. polka yeah. dots and those saris and bell bottoms and uh, so stuff like that. So, I'm going to only speak fashion-wise. I quite like the 50s. And when you're home not filming, hmm. what are you? You're just t-shirt and shorts kind of person. That's your, yes, that's your thing. Yes, pretty much like yeah. this mildly homeless person. My stylist will kill me. Mildly really homeless. Mildly <laughs> homeless. <laughs> mildly. Yeah, or like yeah. there's an extreme homeless stage also. My stylist will kill me. She's given me nice clothes. She's kept them in the car and she said, please change into them. And I was like, yeah, I will. But it was raining and I was lazy and hungry. So I said, I'm just going to stay radio. Anyway. This is beautiful. No I was like, I'm going in shorts and t-shirt. Please, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, at home, I think mildly homeless would be. Uh, yeah, I have paint and all on some of my clothes. Because mm. if I'm painting and all and I'm lazy to get a thing to wipe my brushes, sometimes I just like, and I don't like throwing those old, old, on t-shirts so I have yeah, some yeah. Of them. you sleep in them yeah, that's, yeah that's so I do. have yeah um, a, a destination that you went to and you said wow this is amazing don't say Mauritius because we've talked enough of Mauritius yeah, we have is there any other destination though that you know to? Mauritius I've been to before the first time I went to Mauritius was with my dad and mom and I was the fifth standard oh cool do you have so memories of that you did I do yeah. I do I have very vivid memories we did that underwater walk and all with the fish but uh, okay there's other destinations other than that I think Spain I had shot my first Telugu movie there and we were there for 50 days Madrid or Barcelona and uh, we were in uh, Barcelona for a few days and uh, we were in Malaga for the rest of the oh. whole thing Barcelona was just a week and then we were in Malaga for the whole thing Malaga is a little uh, out so there's not so many people and it's the beaches are emptier and all so I remember uh, I usually get homesick in 15 days I, I mean I start feeling homesick I had my mum with me so that helped but uh, I really liked Spain I felt like it was Bombay I didn't really miss home too much probably if I have to stay somewhere other than Bombay in the world I'd pick Spain maybe and paella sometimes tastes like rasam sadam. It's yeah. <laughs> rasam sambar I'm telling you, I ate it and I was like, oh my God, sambar chadam. This is, yeah, life is good. good. Yeah. yeah. So, because that's one thing yeah. I miss in Mauritius. I really missed uh, sambar chadam and avial. Because I eat avial every alternate day when I'm oh, here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get the veggies in. So, Fantastic, yes. Yeah, that's my favorite. That's one thing I miss when I'm... Uh, 
Listen, Ada, you're lovely. Thank you very much for rolling by and best luck for uh, the holiday. Streaming on Zoom Studios, go YouTube it. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Uh,